Three Brothers RC Anti-Foams right here. Guys, these things, uh, these things look phenomenal. I've been messing around with them already on the table and I can already tell you, pretty sure I'm gonna like these things. So I've got those right there. They are the single stage versions and I've got the tuning rods right here. Got the large ones, I got the weighted ones and the small ones. Obviously, we're putting it on the Element Ecto. Um, and these are what they're going in. Guys, let's get to the table. These things look awesome. Take a look. Let's look at this thing up close. Now, this is printed with a special blend TPU. So as it compresses, you can see right there. Now, all these holes in through here, you can see right here, I've got some of the uh, tuning rods in there. So you can really stiffen these up. Now, I probably should have got more of these, um, but you know what? I can make these work. The game plan is to use a weighted and unweighted on the outside for the fronts, and then use just the uh, small ones on the inside for the rear. I don't think I have enough here. I gotta order some more to actually go all the way around, so I may go every other one. So you can tune these into like a two-stage, or you can leave them completely soft. So, these things are really neat. Oh, and I did test them a little bit. Like, uh, say you got some weight on them. You're trying to go sideways. Look at this. It does not roll over. But that's not to say it's totally stiff and won't take impact. So, uh, very nice material. I've already got one in here and it feels really good. I mean, even without the, uh, the uh, tuner rods in the bottom, the small ones, it almost feels like it has a little bit of two stage already. And I'll show you guys that because when it compresses, everything kind of, kind of doubles up. It kind of gets, I want to say maybe a little bit progressive on the uh, spring rate. I guess you could call it a spring rate by the way these are set up. Um, yeah, these things are nice. I'll go ahead and get another rear one taken care of. I'm going to go ahead and set that up with that. I'll show this to you. And, uh, uh, man, I'm ready to get these things outside already. This is where I'm starting. Right here are the rears. Check that out right there. This should give me a compression, but also give me a little bit more of a two-stage action. And this right here, with the, having the uh, heavy ones and then the regular spacers, it'll give me a little, a little bit stiffer two-stage action. So hopefully this will work out pretty darn good and keep the balance because it is 60-40 right now and I want to keep that. If it's 61-39, I'm good with that too. Setting these into the tire is actually not bad. Just kind of squeeze them right on up and just kind of shove them right on in there. Not like that though. Like this. Squeeze them right on up just like you would any foam. Alrighty. Just kind of shove it up into there. Let it expand. And that's it. Like, really? If you don't have the outer foams, you got to try to center or reposition? Okay, let's get it mounted up on the wheel. Got the inner ring in place. It went in beautifully. I mean, huh. Plenty, beautiful. Oh, this is gonna be good. I actually had more than I thought, and I was able to go every other one with a uh, heavy and a uh, normal, but then I was able to go back with the normals and I had four spots left over. So I put a heavy here and a heavy here, or actually you can look at them right there and tell the difference. So there's two heavies here, two heavies here, so everything is still balanced out. So this is how they're going in for the fronts. As I'm putting these in, I am not being nice to these. I am putting them in just like I would any other foam. Squeezing them down and getting them in there. The front seem like they're gonna have really good conformability. And weight, trying to drag it over. Not, it's holding really good. All right, now the rears, these are obviously a lot softer. Let's see here. Very nice, very nice. You can also you can hear it. You can kind of hear it moving around in there. 
Very nice. With it just sitting here, you can see the front is already doing what it's supposed to do. And the back, the same thing. So, yeah. You know what? Before we take this outside, I'm going to put it on the scales and just see where my balance is at. Let's see. We've got, well, it didn't even change anything. So we got the same balance I had before. Well, all right, we're going outside. First thing I wanna see is the side healing. So we're gonna hit this a few different ways here. Right, we got some compression in the back. Looking good. If I can get down here. Very little, com very little side. Roll. That's good. That's good. Now we're going to go ahead and drive a little bit, see how we do on tire compression. I'm going to hit a few lines. And just see what we've got going here. I am way off line here, right onto the axle housing. So, bad line on my part right there. Let me see, we got decent tire compression. I may have to rethink my thoughts on foams with these since these are so radically different from anything I've used in the past. We got some front tires conforming pretty well. The back tire, same thing. So that's that's nice to see. Definitely got some good contact patch going on. We got some compression right there. Um, just from what I'm seeing right here, look at that right there. Uh, from what I'm seeing right here, I'm just about ready to take these out or order another set and put on SV2. Um, so far, the accuracy is there. So the lack of tire roll gives you the accuracy. It seems like they can form real well. I think if I was to put a set of these into uh, SV2, which may happen really soon, <laughs> um, that truck is so light, I probably won't put any of the, uh, the tuning rods in there. I mean, the back of this, I don't quite, I don't know that we're getting to the tuning rods because they're at the uh, inside area, the inside spaces. That's looking good. All right, let's see what we got here. Ease this in. Okay, that tire conformed really quick, really well right to that rock edge. Let's ease this down into here. Trying to ride that a little bit. Now look right there, we got some tire deformation. That's good, that's contact patch. Um, the bottom tire down here, I don't see any tire roll. So that is uh, no tire roll on the back as well. And I just pushed up the undercut right there. Look at that back end slide, no tire roll. Yeah, I'm gonna have to rethink my whole uh, thought on the way these anti foams work. All right, so that was a lot of accuracy right there. If the tire had a lot of roll to it, it would have pushed right off of that rock, like I've done numerous times with my other trucks on this this obstacle. All right, I've got. Really good here. That's a pretty rough spot. 
but it made that really good. I'm gonna get the pine straw off and get set up for the other climb. Crack a doom. Now this is a right side lean or left side lean that you really got to get on this in just the right spot here. Um, I'm certainly noticing the accuracy of how the vehicle is acting. That was beautiful right there. I am really liking these foams and how they're acting right now. Thinking about taking some of the tuning rods out. Let's see what we got here. Ease this thing down into here. All right, we're gonna try to hold it right here. Let's see if it's gonna hold. I'm gonna zoom in. All right, we got some contact patch there. Let me look on the other side. Okay, there's nothing to really look at on this side, so we can try to continue. I kind of worked it a little bit, and that tire looks like it's trying to come out. Hopefully, I didn't mess up my crawl. Nope. Now we're going to turn over through here. Wow. The side healing ability has went up dramatically with this. I still have all the compression that I need. You can see the tire it was a few minutes ago rolling. Here we go, you can see that back tire doing its thing. Wow, very nice. With this, I'm basically looking for tire compression. We know the side healing ability is uh, really, really good. I'm kind of wondering if these will have any break-in time like a regular foam. Uh, they've been tested, they've been in competition, so they've got some history to them already, even before the release. So, looking at all of this. Now the back of this and the back of SV2, I believe they're about the same weight. Look at that right there. Compression, good. I think I could get more if I had all those tuning rods out. So basically, I'm pretty sure when I finish up the recording of this video, I'm going to jump right into taking these out or I'll see if I can get another set ordered. That's nice, look at the back. Let's see what we got going there. Let me get on the other side of that. All right, looks good. I don't know if I've ever recorded from this side before. So the outsides are definitely conforming. That is awesome. And just for the heck of it, let's go ahead and jump on my incline oh thing. Maybe we can see tire deformation on the back. Certainly got some going on right there, looking good. Is. Well, okay, we're at a good solid 50 right there. I'm actually above the uh, crack right there. All right. Guys, I've tested a lot of different things. Foams, motors, ESCs, tires, links, uh, transmissions, frames, all kinds of stuff. These made a huge, huge difference, and it's all for the better. The way you can set these up soft so the tires can conform to the rock, kind of envelop the rock and keep going without up, out upsetting your vehicle, you know, because if the tire is too hard, every rock it hits, it has to go all the way up through the axle, through the links, through the shocks, into the chassis. 
Um, when you're trying to bounce up something, you know, if the tire is a good, hard, solid tire, guess what? All of that momentum gets transferred into the chassis. These, I've got to rethink my whole foam strategy. I can take all of those out in the front and the back. And I'm pretty sure these things will run just as good. Um, the steering accuracy without the tire roll is something to get used to. I'm not used to that. Um, but I'm going to because you're going to see these foams in other trucks. In my existing trucks like SV2, possibly SV1 because that's got a real soft foam in that. Um, you're going to see more of these. Absolutely awesome, awesome. And I'm saying foams by just habit. Anti-foams. So now uh, hopefully these things will hold up. They are printed. Time will tell. Anyway, guys, uh, check that description. Use those links. These foams are awesome. These anti foams are awesome. Uh, guys, make sure you're subscribed. Thank you all for watching. Guys, if you like what you see, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and ring that bell. So, in the description, there's a link to become a channel member. If you want to become a channel member, it's a very simple $2, $5, $10, or if you really got some money, $25 a month. It's a simple way to support the channel. So, get that, and I am doing monthly giveaways for members only, so you might want to consider it. So, guys, use those links. Make sure you're subscribed. Thank you all for watching.